we're joined by Eileen Dixon, who is the Troy City Clerk with us on the Oakland County Megacast. Clerk Dixon, thank you for being with us today. Hi, thanks for having me. We appreciate having you on. How are you? How's your team over at the clerk's office? We are very busy, but um, we are getting ready, and I think we're in a really good position right now to be ready for August 4th. Um, we've had a record-breaking number of absentee ballots that have come in. We're over 20,000 right now, um, which is more ballots than we've ever done for any election. Um, and uh, I've got a great team of people here. We've hired on a lot of temporary workers that um, are just focusing on getting those absentee ballots out and then getting them received back in when they come back. So like I said, we're in a pretty good spot here, but we're very busy. With the deadlines that are set for absentee ballots, they're not going to count unless they are, as of now, unless they are submitted to their local precinct or to their local clerk's office by the time the polls close on election day. So a lot of different municipalities are putting different programs in place in order to help these absentee voters ensure that they get their, their votes in by, by or before the deadline to ensure that those votes are counted. What's going on in the city of Troy to help ensure that these voters' voices are heard in these upcoming elections? Sure. We have... We've installed um, additional drop boxes, which I know a lot of other clerk's offices have also done. We've got, um, so we have additional drop boxes outside of City Hall that are open 24 hours for people just to put their ballots or other balloting materials um, in those boxes. We also have on uh, this Saturday, July 25th, we're having a drive through clerk's office at City Hall. It's gonna be 8 a.m. to noon, and we'll be able to issue ballots, accept ballots, answer questions, register people to vote, um, do any kind of um, pre-election activity that anybody would need. And then on August 1st, which is another Saturday, we'll be open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And that's the weekend that a lot of clerk's offices are open. Each clerk's office would be able to choose their own um, hours that they wanted to be open that weekend, but we're required to do um, eight hours at some point through, stretch throughout the weekend in Troy, we decided to do all of those eight hours on Saturday. So we're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, just for absentee voting, registering people to vote, answering questions, um, taking ballots back from people if they prefer to hand them in instead of um, dropping them in the drop box. Um, at this point, we start encouraging people to use drop boxes instead of the mail. Um, we have always done that. Um, starting around two weeks before the election, we encourage people to hand deliver their ballots if possible to the clerk's office um, in order to make sure that we have them in our hands by 8 p.m. on August 4th. And, uh, you know, we can mail ballots out until 5 p.m. the Friday before the election. But we um, when we have people on the phone or if we're answering questions for people, we encourage them, if possible, to come in person to get their ballots just to not take the chance with the mail not being able to reach us in time. When can people go in and get their ballots? Because I know that there's no reason absentee voting, but if someone's registered to vote in the poll at the polls in the upcoming election and they have decided at some point that they are, they're no longer going to go to the polls, they don't believe it's safe, they're a little concerned about that, or they just want to vote absentee and get their ballots out of the way, when can people go and get those absent voter applications and absent voter ballots from the local clerk's office and submit those? So... They can submit their applications through email, and this goes for anyone throughout the state. You can submit your application to your clerk's office um, by email or fax um, or by Dropbox if you'd like. And in those cases, the ballots would be mailed to you, and that can happen until Friday before the election at 5 p.m. Um, or at, we're open 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. We have additional those additional Saturday hours I mentioned. Um, people can come in anytime during those hours and get um, – our city hall in Troy is close to the public. However, we do have um, a system in place where people can call the phone number on the door once they arrive at city hall. And one of um, our staff members will go down and meet them at the door and issue their ballot to them in person. So we're still able to offer in-person service um, for ballots to voters. And I know a lot of other clerk's offices are doing something similar or they're open to the public and able to issue ballots to people. So they can, um, voters can still come in person um, during regular office hours, Monday through Friday, um, or on those additional Saturdays um, to get their ballots. And until um, 4 p.m. on the day before the election, voters can still get absentee ballots from their clerk's offices. But the condition for that would that 
is that they have to vote those ballots in person at the clerk's office um, the day before the election. So um, all the way up until 4 p.m., they would still be able to vote absentee, um, but they would just have to vote them there on that Monday. Uh, if you are registering to vote for the first time, then you can register to vote and get an absentee ballot all the way up until 8 p.m. on election day. So if you went to your clerk's office and you had not been registered to vote before, you show up at your clerk's office, you could have the option on election day to either vote um, an absentee ballot right there, or you can uh, go to your precinct and vote, uh, depending on how far away your precinct is, whether you'd make it in time, the time of day. But uh, there are lots of options available for um, voters all the way through um, even the day before the election. Eileen Dixon with us. She is the city clerk of the city of Troy with us on the Oakland County Megacast. And in terms of election workers, we've spoken with West Bloomfield's Township Clerk Debbie Binder. We've spoken with Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds, Lisa Brown. Election workers during any election season are always a concern. You always want more. You always want to get uh, a different group of people in that are ready to take on that challenge. And just for the future, as people retire and, and stop doing it, how critical this year is it for more election workers to register with the city of Troy and with other municipalities as they're preparing for this influx of absentee voters and navigating the COVID-19 pandemic as people go to the polls? So this year, more than any other year, we have had, an, we've had a lot of people drop out due to um, they're nervous about working out in public in a crowd of people, potential crowd of people in a precinct. Uh, we did hire on, um, we had pretty much tripled the size of our absentee county board. Um, and so we didn't have as much issue finding people that were willing to work in the absentee county board, but we're continuing to have people drop out from working at a precinct for obvious reasons. Um, you know, they're just nervous about being around that many people. So uh, we also have had a lot of um, people contact us who are interested in working because they've heard of the issues with uh, having people drop out. So we're still working. We're still looking for people. We're still accepting applications. We're doing training classes the week before the election. So all the way up until the training class, we'll still be taking applications from people. And, uh, you know, it's typical to have people drop out the day before the election or the weekend before the election when they find out, you know, they have to go on a trip or they have to have a medical procedure or something like that. Um, so we always want more people than we actually need because we anticipate that people are going to be dropping out. And this year, uh, because of the pandemic, there are I, there are a lot more people who are nervous, who longtime workers who've worked, you know, many, many elections. And this year, it's just too much for them to um, put their feel like they're putting themselves at risk to be out in public. Um, so if anyone is interested in working, and I mean, I know I'm in this situation in Troy, but I know that every clerk's office all over the state is in the same situation. So if you're someone who is inclined to possibly be interested in working, um, I would encourage you to reach out to your clerk's office uh, and offer your services and sign up to work. And uh, it's it's a rewarding experience. And I've this will be my 52nd election that I've worked for the city of Troy. And every single one, I learned something new. And it's actually kind of a fun experience, even though I know I understand people might be nervous about working in person at a precinct. Um, it is actually a really rewarding experience. And um, you can have a lot of fun and uh, earn some money, too. Who can be an election worker? Uh, the minimum, it's a very basic requirement that if you're over 18, you have to be a registered voter in the state of Michigan. So you don't have to be registered to vote in the, the place that you're working. You just have to be a registered voter in the state of Michigan, and then you could work for any municipality. Um, you can also be an election worker if you're 16 or 17, but you would have to be eligible to be registered to vote if you were 18. So basically that just means you have to be a United States citizen. Um, if you're 16 and 17. And then there would be uh, some hourly restrictions because of being a student um, for that um, if, if you wanted to work. But um, basically anyone can be, um, any voter can be a worker. Eileen Dixon with us. She is the city clerk in the city of Troy. Anything else you'd like to touch on today before we let you go? Um, you know, we do, we are taking, and I can, I'm speaking for Troy, obviously, but I know many, many clerks throughout Oakland County. And I know that we're all working really hard to make sure that our workers and our voters are safe when they go vote in person. And 
that our workers are safe when they're working in the absentee county board. And the state of Michigan has provided um, PPE and uh, supplies to make it easier for us to make our workers and our voters safe. Um, the county has provided um, additional resources such as a bonus for a $50 bonus for all workers who work um, in the August or November elections in 2020. Um, and uh, the, our, the city of Troy, I can't say enough about how supportive the city of Troy has been with uh, basically giving me everything that I could possibly need in order to make sure that our elections are secure and safe, um, secure for the process and for voting and safe for all the workers and all the voters. We have uh, outfitted our precincts with um, personal protective equipment and hand sanitizer and signs reminding people about um, social distancing, social distancing markers. We have a plan in place to make sure that voters and workers are six feet apart. And that goes for our county board as well. And I know that all clerks, all the clerks that I have talked to all over Oakland County are all doing the same thing to make sure that everyone is safe. So if someone is, is thinking that maybe they would wanna work or if they would wanna vote in person, um, I would hope that uh, you know, they don't, everyone understands that we are doing everything we can to try to make that as safe and as secure a process as possible. Well, Eileen, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. It's good Clerk, nice to be here. Yeah, good to have you with us. Clerk Eileen Dixon from the city of Troy with us on the Oakland County Megacast.